I'm very uh, happy to have uh, Lou Yates here uh, on the phone. So we've got this fight coming up between John Fury and Mickey Theo. Uh, do you think he's got a chance against the uh, the ex-pro boxer John Fury? Well, um, the bodybuilder that I know can't fight the way over work for every bag, but uh, what, do they know each other, these uh, Tyson Fury's dad? And... I, I don't think they do. I, I think he just decided to challenge him. They're not getting a license for that, but he's too old, isn't he? I think they're actually going to do it as a, I don't know if it's going to be a white collar fight or or I'm not I'm not sure but I think they're taking it both very serious. It's unusual. Yeah, yeah, the it is. Get, you mean you're more vulnerable to injury when you get older, obviously. So the Mickey Theo, he worked the door for years, which is what what you did. Uh, how dangerous was it working the doors? Oh, very dangerous at times. Yeah, I've been stabbed three times and I was shot at and everything. Samurai swords. Machetes, hammers, and oh, anything they could pick up, and that you ain't coming back yet. But you know, he's trying to run me over loads of times and things like that. Well, a few times. Talking about like uh, John Fury, he he taken part in a lot of bare knuckle fights. So, uh, had you ever taken part in bare knuckle fights? Sixteen, that's all. What were they like? Those fights? It was all behind the, the pubs of that. Mm -hmm. You go in a pub and you meet whoever they meet, and sometimes scouts are like these come down, like you I mean, and uh, they're a bit trappy from up. Mm -hmm. So the other team and my team were there, and we put the money over, what we were fighting for, over the bar with the barman, and then we go round on the coals and uh, just sit down to the waist, and we no no raps or nothing on our hands. Mm -hmm. It wasn't for all. And anything went really, gouging everything went. So I have 16 of them, uh, and I never, never lost one of them. Did, did those fights last a long time, or are they over quickly, or, or what? I don't know, three, four, five minutes, I don't know, a long time that is when you fight him. But, were they uh, really tough fights, were they? They were really hard? Oh, yeah, they were really uh, tough guys, but I had speed and, and youth on my side, and, you know what I mean, I was fit, I was always fit. So one, one of the things I was going to ask you, of course, you had that very famous fight with Roy Shaw. I, I mean, I was reading that, that you were winning the fight in uh, in the second round, but then there was some controversy over a cut. Were you, were you actually cut, or, or what happened? No cut whatsoever. <laughs> no, he's right. We've gone in the second round. Yeah. Come on, I was just boxing dead. I was uh, talking to him. Come on, Roy. That's the best you can do. Right. Come on, Roy. Anyway, I just caught him. It was a nice shot, punchy. Bang, 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 bang. He staggered halfway across the ring. He went on the top rope, but he was hanging there. I was going to tip him out of the ring. I was going to grab his legs and tip him out with his right hanging out with me. I thought, oh, they, they disqualify him. Because I had a winner take all of it. I know if I hate him, I catch him, he'll go. Anybody I hate, I used to say, anybody I hate, I'll knock him out. And I hit him with his short punches and I went right halfway across the ring. One of the ropes, gone he was, absolutely gone. But they're going mad in the corner. He come back up and if he come back up, I stuck the head on him. He plonked him on his head, he could hardly walk. He, he fell on that stool. And uh, then I come out for the third round, and I was just playing with it, toying with it. And, uh, and all of that, that's right, when they rung the bell then, because he was in trouble. And there was one minute, 12 seconds to go, and they rung the bell to save him. So I come out for the third boxing day up, and then they, they got back to the corner, and then he takes all over, you got cut on the eye, I got cut. I got a mark on that, honestly, it was an absolute joke. What, what did no, you no, feel no. about when it was put down as a loss? I mean, you were you were robbed, yeah? Oh, of course he robbed, robbed the entire course. Oh, yeah, he, he, he stopped it in that third round, because Roy was knackered. And I spoke to him after, and I'm asking him four times after, in front of other people, mm -hmm. are you going to fight me again or what? And he went, no, I'll never fight you yet. He said, you'll be super fit next time. He said, he's absolutely smart, but he said that. That's the way I've done you last time, anyway. I mean, who, who, who was ultimately the governor? Was was it Lenny McLean? Was it you? Was it Roy? Was it Cliff Fields? He pulled out of a fight with me, signed up with, with Cliff, went and sort of shook hands with him. <laughs> at North London. We went to, we had a meet up there with these friends, and I we went up there, and they, we were talking, like, and he won't look at me, so I thought, I can't miss your bloody head, mate. You've got a head like a fucking bucket. I can't miss that. I was looking at him. He won't look at me at all. Mm -hmm. And he said, what size gloves? I said, well, I'm fighting with Miranda. I said, I ain't got it. I'm not bothered what size gloves. Do you think you would have beaten Cliff Fields? Oh, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Too quick. Oh, yeah, too quick for Cliff. Right. Cliff was very robotic. Big fella, but robotic. Oh, yeah. So Same with Lenny. Yeah. And Lenny, and Lenny went on the steroids, like Roy. Roy, Roy, Roy was full of steroids and everything else. Before my fight, I believe, a good friend of mine, he went in and dressed with Roy's, before the fight, 
and uh, he said to Fred, get me some drugs, and I can't get any of with Charlie, with Yancey, like this, he said, I need some more drugs, I need some more drugs. So they sent this other guy out, he took the drugs out, he got, you know what I mean, give him yes. his fella, yeah. But I never took anything, me, I've never took any steroids or nothing. I'm PLG and uh, a bit of lemon juice and a bit of honey, and that's how I have before. If I had to be super fit, I'd have absolutely... So he wouldn't have gone around with me, right? Mm -hmm. But I just took my time because I knew I was out of condition. Cracking, which I did, and you mean Robert, one minute, 12 seconds, so oh, bloody hell, he was gone. What was your toughest fight then that you ever had? I had loads of uh, hard fights. Well, fairly hard fights, you see. Uh, I was a dirty fighter, you know what I mean? And uh, I used to love it, you know, the elbow, the head, whatever, the shoulder. I used to get carried away. I used to be, uh, I just wanted to kill him. It's royal. I used to I put my hands in my pockets and I used to say to him, now you've told him fuck off. I'll give you 10 seconds. You choose which hand, but you will going sleep now. I'll give you 10 seconds to fuck off. And if you didn't, bang. That was it, yeah. That was it. That was really quick, yeah. Do you miss those days, Lou? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, best days of my life. What was your very last fight? That was your fight. was the last one. That was the last yeah, one? Because, yeah, nobody else went in fight me. Don't need a ball. They fought Roy when he first, when he first came out. He wouldn't fight me. There was uh, Bartley Gorman. He didn't want to know. But Bar Bartley Gorman had, had this amazing reputation and he did want to fight you, no? No, he didn't. No, they no. couldn't fix it. Couldn't fix it up with him. No. No, no they tried to fix it up and they couldn't want to know it, apparently. Yeah. But I've seen him, I've seen him sparring, uh, 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 not sparring, uh, shadow boxing and things like that. And I thought, my God, what a shot. He didn't have enough speed to know Nothing. So now we started this interview by talking about um, John Fury and Mickey Theo and, and really spent most of our time talking about you, which was really interesting. They've gone back in the ring at the age of 55 and 56. No chance of you getting back in at all. Well, I was thinking of it the other night. I thought, I'll fight a winner of that. You know I mean? <laughs> See how, what condition I can get him into. So anybody wants to uh, uh, know more about Lou Yates, you've had a book out which was quite successful, wasn't it? Like I say, independent newspaper. People can still get this book on, on Amazon and it's still out, yeah? yeah? Well, everybody said, I've never had one, one person, they said, it's a nice, easy read, but they said you can't put it down. Some people said, I'd to read it twice over. <laughs> it was so good. I know, it's been great speaking to you, Lou. I really appreciate it. And hopefully one day I'll, I'll get a chance to, to meet you. That's all right. God bless you. Keep safe with this bloody virus around Yeah, here. and you, and you, Lou. Look after yourself. Thank you,